Grace back with you and I am just wanting to make a video really quickly on my top five breakfast foods because I know a lot of people ask me what I eat in a day, a lot of people ask what are healthy snack, healthy meal ideas, so I figured that this was great and I'm babysitting my little nephew, he's three months old so he's coming along with us for today. So anyways, let's get to the top five breakfast foods. Can you say hi to the world? Look, there they are, there they are, there you are. And if, if you saw my Instagram, yes, I'm still wearing my PJs. Give me coffee or give me death. <laughs> Can you say hi to the camera? <laughs> so let's get to it. So number one in breakfast foods is eggs. Yay! Everyone loves eggs. Well, everyone loves egg whites in the fitness community, but not many people eat the yolk. Guys, it is okay to eat the yolk, I promise. Yolks are good for you in moderation, and I usually just have like two eggs in the morning and I eat both yolks. So tip of the day, eat the yolk. Number two is, as you guys may have guessed, oats. And there's so many ways that you can mix up your oat creations. You can add protein powder. You can add egg whites actually to it to make it more voluminous. You can add zucchini. I have a zucchini oat recipe on my blog that I'll link below. There's so many great recipes you can make with oatmeal. I have overnight oat recipes on my blog. Um, chocolate chip cookie to overnight oats, guys. Come on, like that doesn't sound good. So. That is number two, and I will put a lot of recipes down below that are on my blog using these ingredients. Number three, guys, is peanut butter toast. I, like I said, I'm not a, the biggest breakfast eater, so I like to have Ezekiel toast, which, because I try to stay gluten-free, um, I know Ezekiel toast isn't 100% gluten-free, but it tends to like not mess with my stomach, so I have that. And then I just use all natural peanut butter. If I'm really not feeling like having anything too crazy in the morning, that's what I have. I just have some peanut butter toast. Sometimes I add a sliced banana on top, sometimes I add honey on top. If I'm really needing some comfort food, peanut butter and honey toast is where it's at. Number four, guys, is yogurt and fruit and granola. It's one of my favorite go-tos, even though I have been trying to eat a little less dairy, so I haven't been eating it every day like I used to. So I usually get either 0% or 2%, but I get the plain Greek yogurt because it's higher in protein. So it has about 23 grams of protein per serving, and it's great because when it's plain, you can add whatever flavors you want. I mix cinnamon into it, stevia into it. I even sometimes mix some protein powder in it just to give it a different flavor. You can do anything you want with it. So, and I have some like peanut butter dips made with Greek yogurt that like I'll post down below as well. Oh yeah, is that what you think? That's what he thinks. <laughs> so I'll post, like just keep looking at the, in the description below because I'm gonna be posting tons of links to recipes on my blog that use all these ingredients like I said earlier. I also top my yogurt with fruit, number one, blueberries, apple. I literally have an apple a day, guys, now. It's crazy, but I don't know. Ever since I was in a sorority and that's what they provided us, apples and oranges and bananas, I became obsessed with apples and I eat at least one or two apples a day. <laughs> So I always have an apple on my yogurt, and we make our homemade granola, guys. So all we do is we go to Whole Foods and we get like some yummy vanilla low-fat granola, then we get some almonds, we get some Golgi berries, and then we get some cocoa nibs. And let's open this. Sorry guys, I only have one hand with me today. But basically, if you can see that, so it has the Golgi berries, which Golgi berries, guys, if you haven't tried them, they're like a little dried red fruit like this, and they are so yummy, so good. So that mix with almonds, Golgi berries, cocoa nibs, and granola, so good. So I taught my younger with that. And number five for the lazy person breakfast food, I have two options for you guys because since you're lazy, you need some options too. Number five is an egg sandwich by Evil that I love because it has, it's, number one, it's vegetarian. It's egg and smoked Gouda. Number two, it's 13 grams of protein for only 190 calories. What? That's crazy. That's like the serving of yogurt. So it's really yummy. It's like a flatbread kind of sandwich. 
It's by Evil that my sister gets these actually. I just tried them for the first time, but I loved them, so that's why I'm recommending them to you guys now too. Because I know I'm gonna get these for up at college when I'm in my graduate program and don't have time to make anything. So that's option one for lazy food. And then you guys know option two is a Quest Bar because a lot of times on the go, I just eat a Quest Bar in the morning because you can't beat it. 20 grams of protein, 200 calories or less. Winning. Yeah, yeah, that's what, see, Mike is gonna like Quest Bars too someday. There are my top five breakfast foods for you guys. Now me and Micah are gonna go make breakfast ourselves. I'm thinking some eggs and toast. What are you guys gonna be having for breakfast this morning? So, like I said, don't forget there's gonna be tons of links in the description below of recipes on my blog that I think are great breakfast recipes and foods and meals to make. So, click the thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Say hello to Micah. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What does Micah like for breakfast? Micah just drinks milk. Simple and easy. Simple and easy. Huh? Oh, and he's got my hand.